Okay, so I thought it's an April Fool's, but apparently they're actually doing it. I don't know what we have done to them, chat. I, I generally don't know what we did to Hollywood in order to deserve this. I, I would show them a doll with the audience, and I would ask Hollywood, like, show me where the audience touched you, j just so I can know why they keep inflicting this on us. Like, I, I generally want some original IPs. I, I would really love to see something new, but, but every single time we get it out something, another sequel, another reimagining, another reboot. And, and the thing is, like, they already did this. They, they already did this with Matrix 4, and we noticed that it was a flop. But not only that, we noticed that the creator didn't want to do it. Because the whole thing of the movie is making fun of literally this. That they're making fun of Hollywood that are milking these productions. That, that are like vampires going from IP to IP to IP. Sucking all of the blood. Sucking all of, of, of the things that made the IP great. And, and, and trying to milk the customer of every single last penny. Like, it, it's no wonder that Japan and South Korea right now is kicking their ass in entertainment. So, so they're having to use all of these underhanded tactics like, oh, let's see how we can get payment processors to defund them. Let, let's push some diversity, inclusivity, and equity so that we bring them down to our level. Because they, they have no creativity left. There's nothing. nothing. And now it's like another Matrix movie. The thing with Matrix, by the way, um, I remember like when I was a kid and I saw it, I genuinely didn't understand any of the philosophy um, like, people say, well, it's postmodernism, and it's like, oh, look, like a postmodernist production that's successful. Uh, that's not why I like The Matrix. I generally didn't understand, like, 80% of it. I just knew that, oh, look, people are flying over buildings, and they're dodging bullets, and, oh, bullet time, that's cool. And, and the thing is, like, everyone in my class, like, almost everyone of my generation was like that. It's only later on that you get on the internet and people are talking about the philosophy of the Matrix and you realize, oh, well, yeah, this, this is really postmodernist thing. It's like, oh, but what is real? It's like, how do you define real? But, but like, at the time when I was watching, I generally didn't give a shit. It's like, oh, can Neo beat Morpheus? Like, that was it. And, you know, like, you, you had all of this cool stuff with the machines, um, the, 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 anim uh, the Animatrix, they called it. It was uh, Matrix animated, and you actually get to see the war before that. That was really cool. And there was an MMO with, with the Matrix. But the thing is, like, they had a window of opportunity where they could have made a new Matrix movie. And that window of opportunity is gone. Like, we, we just saw it with the previous. They do not have the talent nor the creativity of making something cool. And it also feels that the Wachowski just doesn't want to do it. Like, they're, they're doing it as someone that's just paid to do something and they're doing it for the sake of it. There is no more passion. There, there is no more creativity there. And, and again, you, you have the same thing with Hollywood right now where, I'm sorry to say this, but Keanu Reeves is old. Like, the old actors are fine. You know, you, you can have, like, an old actor in a movie as a mentor, as a, a general, or as a politician... But, but to have Keanu Reeves just going around and flying all over the place and, and beating people up that are uh, half his age just, just, just feels immersion-breaking. It feels so fucking America. Like, I'm sorry to say this, but America is like the geriatric squad. You look at their politicians, you look at their actors, it, it is what it is. And, and the reason is that they refuse to actually go to what's popular. Like, what's popular right now, I'm sorry to say, but it's Twitch streamers and VTubers. Like, if they were to cast a Twitch streamer in an actual role in a movie, it would put bots in seats. Um, but, unfortunately, they don't want to do that, you know? And you look at other countries, you look at South Korea, you look at Japan, and you get to see that they actually integrate the VTubers into the mainstream entertainment. Like, like they have commercials with VTubers, uh, they, they even have, like, um, video games where VTubers get to play it. Because that's what the market wants. But, but they refuse to care. You know, like America talks about democracy all the time. They talk about, oh, appealing to the wider audience. But they genuinely do not care what the numbers say. They genuinely do not care what the audience wants. So you're going to keep getting old actors. You know, um, <clears throat> I, I was actually uh, told by a person uh, on Twitter, like, oh, Stellar Blade is not a good game. Like, if you need tits and ass in order to make a good game, then you don't really have a product. And I'm like, well, what if you need old Hollywood actors in order to sell the product? How about that? Because we got to see this with Harrison Ford as well, like Indiana Jones. Again, like not, nothing against old actors. Like old actors, 
still have roles to play in movies. Like, for example, in Breaking Bad, uh, where, where you have, like, uh, the guy with the bell, ding, 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 you know? Like, that, that makes sense to cast an old person as that role. But, but to see Harrison Ford, like, swing a whip and use a gun in order to, to fight with people, and, and he looks like he's 80, like, I, I'm sorry, but, like, who is this movie for? Like, Harrison Ford, when he was young, just like Keanu Reeves here, it would actually attract women. Like, women like to see these action heroes in the movies. Uh, but but now, it, it's not only that they're being casted, but they're casted in uh, roles that should benefit young men. But but I think, like, all of this goes to show it's like Hollywood just doesn't want to take risk anymore. Like, they're making these huge budget productions, which, again, like, we'll go to that in a little bit. But secondly, they do not want to risk casting someone new, so they're casting someone that everyone knows, right? Like they're casting, again, Keanu Reeves. The thing is, uh, if you actually look back when Hollywood was great, like back in the 80s and the 90s, look at the Terminator. Like, like the first Terminator, apparently, um, and, and I don't know if they said this jokingly or not, but it was a very low-budget production. And one of the scenes has Arnold Schwarzenegger um, punch the window of a car in order to get in. Now, there was an interview where he actually said that they didn't have the money to, to have a car, so he actually broke someone else's car. I don't know if that's true or not, but I wouldn't be surprised because if you actually look at the first Terminator, you can see that it's a budget B-rated movie that became popular because people like the story. And then the second one is where they actually started investing money in it. But Hollywood just doesn't do that anymore. Like, you just don't see these cheap productions that are able to become popular. Instead, you see them with gaming. Like, you get to see Pal World. You get to see The Coffin of Ashley and Lele. You get to see um, Helldivers and, and many other AA games, which are done because you have people with a passion project, and they just want to invest in something, and some of them end up being successful. Meanwhile, like, AAA is now having this mentality that you need to pump in tons of cash uh, in order to just revitalize that IP, and, and it ends up time and time again just not being successful. Just people being turned out. And, and, and this is just, again, like, it, it disgusts me, honestly. Like, th this is the feeling that I get for seeing, like, yet another new Matrix. It's like, where's your creativity? Where's your originality? You had decades to do this. Why are you doing it now? But anyway, right, uh, let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'm a little bit too radical in this take. Uh, I, I'm genuinely curious to see the comments on this. And if you want to support the channel by scrolling down into the pinned comment, it will show you a couple of links that take you to my subscribe star or even my live stream channel. If you subscribe to my live stream channel, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys there. And uh, take care.